out of me, you looking like a hat. I don't think you want a problem, but my Glock will make you dance. I got bands up in my pocket, I got bands up in my See, I got the chin link Bluetooth, 32 watt. I got a 800 count. Go ahead and open it, maybe. I actually sent it to the wrong house, so I had to go on a hunt for it. This is about to be... Oh, man. Okay. So, here is the car plug-in. Move that out of the way. And then, here are the strands. That is a lot bigger plug-in than ones I've seen on YouTube. But instructions here is the wireless controller you can see you have jump they get fades motor speed up and down motor on and off music um this actually goes with the music rgbw and everything it's a nice remote it's kind of kind of flat feeling um there's a wall plug-in second half to it here's the motor this motor is a lot but twice the size as what i was expecting along with that that is a lot bigger than they show in pictures or like everybody else has had on youtube but i'm not going to because as i said this is an 800 count 800 piece count um you have this little set screw right here you just unscrew it which i have to get a screwdriver to that's getting on my nerves. Back, but these are them. They're like fishing string, but just thicker. So here's a remote. And this is the antenna right here. So this is white. And that is awesome. All right, let's turn off the lights. In this video, you can actually kind of see how the lights work. Everything comes to that little tip right there, and this is a twinkle. Let's try blue. Oh, man. Green and red. And everybody says that the motor makes a bunch of noise. I don't really hear anything out of the motor. Um, but that white. It's going to look so good. And I'm actually glad it's actually showing up the way it should. Let's try the pink. Oh, okay. Pink. And it actually lights up the whole box. I'm going to have to make sure to figure out a way that I can get all these to light up without lighting up the whole entire truck. This is a jump. Another jump. is awesome and of course you can also turn the brightness up and down this is a brightness going down you can see how much darker it gets as compared to all the way up and a lot of people said that the remotes don't come with batteries I don't know if this is just from who I ordered it from it actually does come with batteries, so um, I'm really glad about that because I didn't want to buy extra batteries. So this is an 800 count, 16 watt piece, and it turn the lights back on. This piece actually comes with little drill bits, but I'm not going to use the drill bits because of the simple fact of I don't want to put this through and rip up the new headliner. And they put these in it, which I'm not too sure what these are. I think these are like supposed to make it look like a diamond crystal-y thingy but I'm not really into all that so I'm not going to worry about that and then I have to figure out something it's got a cool little push button start push thing plugs in like a little computer outlet thing so that's pretty cool but I do like the power switch and yeah so can't wait to start as the Starlight Headliner so I've got the lights and now the headliner is out. Um, all I had to do for this is 
the game plan initially was to remove the back seat and all the pillars and then there's two pins back there your oh crap handle and your visors so um whenever we started we didn't take the back seats out and i thought we should have but we didn't and so we had to take it put it back up take the back seats out and then move these all the way front seats all the way to the front and once we did that took the back seat out completely and took the sub box out and just folded it over and kind of put it in a hot dog shape and put it out we got it out and it didn't crease and everything and then i dropped it off at the upholstery shop and got everything dropped off it's going to be all done in suede and they are also uh vinyl dyeing all the tan plastics that were in here so everything will match but this is what it looks like I also got all this wire. All right, so this is what it'll be like in the truck. As you can see, I'll move your hand across it and it moves colors all the way across. The guy actually ended up breaking, this is the driver's side. They actually ended up breaking the mirror, but which one of those it's down and under. It shouldn't be seen that much. And he did this for me. Turned out pretty good. And so also the handle on the side. But now we're about to start poking the holes through. I have a little rip iPhone repair kit screwdriver thing that works pretty much perfect for what I have because uh, my headliner's too thick to use a thumbtack. So yeah. All right, so I just got the headliner back from a upholstery shop and I started putting all the dots for the diamond that I'm using. I actually ended up using a whiteout marker, just a tip for it to make all the outlines that I wanna do. And then I outlined where the visors are gonna sit and the little head unit thing, kind of marked out into different quadrants, quadrant one, two, three, and four, like, like everybody else does. And then I started here in the middle and kind of spread them out, which it's a little bit of a mess right there because I didn't realize how much you actually have to spread them out because I used a lot more on this than I probably should have and I need to move some through here just to kind of just kind of straighten it out but I got them as far to the edge as I pretty much can I didn't want to go through these because like I could but I just don't don't really want to screw anything up so I'll flip it over and show you all what it looks like on the bottom where you want the light to be and you have to push it hard but also make sure you don't rip the headliner material off because it will come out a little bit that one's a little bit out of where i wanted it but you kind of understand it and just will work your way down this is a fun part all right so i didn't film gluing and everything but this is it in right now. We just got it in. And there's a couple spots right here that didn't completely come through everything. But still, it's broad daylight. And you can just see how bright these are. And I did not paint those little tabs, but it'll be fine. And I just got it pushed up to this. I actually ordered some switches. But they're momentary switches, so they're not going to work. So this will be a temporary setup. Eventually I'll have a plate that goes through here that I can have all my switches on. And I'll get the switch real quick and show you all. Good. But I'm going to get an actual one later on and have them run through here. And I'll show you all. We put everything down. So this is the motor. And we taped all these lights up so they'd be brighter. We had a little extension on it. And it's just leaned up against there. And ran all through here. And this is it. So, still gotta go home. Still gotta trim some of these down. But pretty much what I did is like, these right here, you don't even feel them. And that's what I wanna do. Just have it to where you don't even feel them. But you can still see them. So, I 
think it looks really good. And yeah, really, really happy with how it turned out. There's a couple bald spots, but this is 800 lights. I'll get a nighttime video for y'all too. There is no way Pretty much a little spotlight. Ugh, wind. I think so far my favorite is going to be the hiccups. It's about this purple, the white, the blue, and just amazing. But this white is just something else. They light up everything. It's kind of crazy at night. And then, just like that, they're gone. But yeah, really happy with how they turned out. Pretty little bitch got a face like Moana, and that's like Rihanna. And I had two big shit, big as Madonna. I'ma take it to Nirvana. Better spend a couple bands, cause I know she likes to flex. I'ma make it look good, put that pussy like a tech. That she fuck me like she should, want me grabbing on her neck. Then I bought it so good, I ain't even got checked. You ain't even got checked.